All right, we're back. Look, look, I, I, I did a thing. I did a thing. Now it doesn't look like so ridiculous anymore, though it is kind of blurry. <laughs> Blown out. Oh well. Temporary solution. Temporary solution. Oh, I forgot about the fan. One sec. I, yeah, I've been turning that on during the breaks just to help move the air around, not make it so hot, so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. So yeah, um, if anyone has any other ideas for uh, scenes, now would be the time to speak up. Because uh, otherwise, we're going to move on. <laughs> well, you know. Not gonna happen. Yeah, that camera. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. Uh, there might be one, uh, I kind of want to go back. I want a siren backstory sort of scene, but I'm not quite sure what that's gonna entail. Siren, other sirens, gobbles, goblins, how she lost her arm, uh, CK, CK. Yeah, yeah. There you happy? So, last part of the show, part three, the ending. Uh, you guys are awesome. So, Part three, Accidental Book Club. Uh, for those just tuning in or those who don't know, the Accidental Book Club is me reading a bunch of books about writing that I've had for years and never read. Uh, because like any person who collects books, if I don't read it within a couple weeks, it just sits on the shelf forever and never gets touched again. Um, 
So yeah, uh, this week we are continuing with writing fantasy and science fiction uh, by Orson Scott Card and other writers at uh, Writer's Digest. Um, I didn't read a ton, but I did get quite a bit more of the way through Sid Field that I'm way behind on. <laughs> um, but I did read a little bit. Uh, so the part I was reading right now was on, uh, was actually part four, uh, of four. I skipped parts two and three because they're a overall history of speculative fiction and steampunk. Uh, those two are the least interesting to me, so I'm probably going to keep those for last. And, uh, last week I talked a lot about the first part. So we're gonna, we're gonna skim over that for now. Man, this gorilla pod is awesome. I'm I'm so glad I bought it. It like it's so stable. It does not move. Um, I originally was testing the frame with this mounted on the back of the chair facing outward. So cool. So yeah, uh, this week I was reading about uh, medieval societies, uh, feudalism, mannerism, uh, mannerism. Manneralism? There's a thing. There's a thing. I'm gonna pop it open here. Ah. Manorialism. Gotcha. There we go. Uh, and Christianity and social order and how medieval societies work. Uh, the vast majority of fantasies that we see nowadays are based upon medieval societies. Uh, and, and how medieval societies are constructed. That's not 100% true across the board. We tend to use a sort of weird post-medieval medieval that has a lot more innovations from things like the Renaissance and other historical eras, uh, levels of technology and such and so forth. Uh, things like, like uh, advanced crossbows, gunpowder, uh, trade. Uh, there's a lot of trade and economic innovations that didn't occur until much later, printing presses. Things that are sort of medieval, but really came later. Um, that's the tech level of the traditional fantasy, fantasy world. Um, yeah, stirrups are a great example. Uh, medieval knights didn't really use stirrups. That wasn't really a thing. Um, yeah. Uh, there's lots of stuff. Uh, I mean, even blacksmithing techniques to a certain extent uh, are not portrayed uh, accurately in fantasy uh, in the same way. Um, coins, to a certain extent, uh, the way that uh, money systems work, completely different. Um, there's other stuff. And I'm sure there's a ton of lists on the internet about that, that kind of thing. But yeah, so I was reading a lot about uh, medieval society. Uh, which is cool. Studying history, like I was saying with intertextuality, studying history is a great way to see how societies were built and how societies change and narratives. Uh, why things happen. You want to start a war in your novel? How did World War I start? How did World War II start? How did the Great War, how did the War of 1812 start? There are commonalities. They're not all the same, for sure, but there are commonalities. Economics, politics, societal stuff, um, revolutions, protests, intertextuality, context. So yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what this, this entire chapter is kind of about. It's about the context of medieval societies. How, how 
what what ways were they run? How did people live? Giving you context for building your fantasy society. So yeah. Intertextuality. Context. Important concepts. I know they're I know they're very abstract, but they're still important. <laughs> Um, so yeah, other than that, um, next week will be characters. Uh, I'm going to write out next week. I'm going to write character profiles for all the characters and give them names. Important. We're going to talk about that for sure. The importance of names, um, which actually funnily enough, lives a lot in intertextuality and context. So, there you go. Um, but yeah, so that'll be next week. The week after will be the special role-playing stream. Uh, and I will, I will remind everyone of that next week as well. Uh, but that will be happening. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to do something a little different, change things up. And uh, yeah, that we will be doing some heavy drafting of the first draft. It's okay, Johnny. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> Off stream. When, you, when you've had sleep. So yeah. Um, other than that... Uh, let me know what you think about the show notes. Let me know what you think about all that stuff I said in part one uh, about the format of the show. Uh, please give me feedback. Uh, I can't improve without, without your opinions. So uh, let me know. Uh, if you go to the website. Oh, yeah, I got it pretty much first try again. I'm getting better at this. Uh, if you go to the website, accidentalordin.com, you can see uh, my notes and links for each episode, uh, supplemental stuff. Um, there are uh, all the VODs and also uh, ways to contact me if you want to please do um, so yeah I'm opening up the floor to any questions or derailments as you may have it uh, other than that we're going to close out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, we're good. I didn't have a thought there. That was not a thought. <laughs> Sorry. I know it seemed like one, but it wasn't. Oh, other thing I'll mention is I am going to get... I'm going to get the whiteboard ironed out. I got to I gotta get some... I gotta make or get some soft boxes for my little lights and I will do it. I will fix it. I was so close today. I think my lights are just too big for the amount of space I have. So if I use the little lights, it should work. I think it will work. Um, Cause the problem was, is I had to frame, I have to frame out the lights, right? Like, so you, so you don't see the giant glow on either corner which gave me a much smaller space than I, than I really could use. Uh, so I think with the smaller lights, I should be able to do it properly. Hopefully, hopefully, Urgh. Um, so yeah. Give you one last special treat. <laughs> mm. I, I don't, uh, 
Talk to me off stream about that, Robin. We'll talk about alien introductions. It's fine. Because I fixed the thing that I was working on. It's much better now. You gave me good advice. Chat's so lewd right now. Tisk tisk. Tisk tisk. What kind of giveaway? Oh yeah, uh, Sam, do you want to do that? Do you want to get on Skype with me for an episode and just do that interview style thing? I'm cool with that if we want to do that, but you got to be in. I don't know when it'll happen, probably like a month from now. <laughs> but yeah. Ew, EA. No, because Rob's, I'm going to have you on uh, a later episode when we talk about editing. Because I want you there for that. I've been very proud of myself too, Droney. I did not once say it's too hot. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, I know what your skills are. I know what your skills are. But yeah, I, I do want to do that. Uh, I'm planning on having that happen. I was waiting until I had more a more concrete like idea of when that would be. I'm thinking, if I look at my calendar, let's go back to big face. Whoa, big face. I go back to here, look at my calendar. Uh, I'm going to be doing heavy drafting the week of the t 11th through the 17th, and I know you're away. So if we could do probably something around like the 31st, that'd be perfect. Well, we'll Hey, I only did that once too. Good for me. Um, we'll work out those details later. No, are you not back yet, or are you just busy? Ooh, that sucks. That's super lame. Well, let me know when you. Well, let me know the time frame of your trip. And we will figure something out. It depends how much drafting I get done. Because <laughs> uh, I want to finish, I actually want to do it not the way I usually do it and do like all the weird iterations with the editing. I want to do it the proper way with actually writing up a full draft before I do edits. Because um, I'm a crazy man. The next one will do my way. And people will be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh. All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll message you about that later. We'll get it sorted out. Cool? Cool. Um, it actually got cooler. Funnily enough. Yeah, no one wants to do it my way. <laughs> Except me. Um, my way's not fun for anybody. 
except me. Um, Sam hates my way. Like, absolutely detests it. But, you know, writers are different. Processes are different. Don't be afraid to experiment. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to close out the stream then. Check out website. Oh, look at that point. Check out the website, accidentalorigin.com. Go to Twitter. Um, check me out on Twitter, at FreakLabMishaps. If you want to get in contact with me uh, or just follow along for stream updates, uh, I am going to try and be a little bit better about stuff like that. Uh, oh, and I guess we didn't really decide anything with the show notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the meager outlines I had for episode seven and episode eight and just post those. I am going to finish writing show notes for five and six, which are the game design episodes because they didn't have show notes. So I'm going to write some, uh, I will finish those proper, which is okay. Um, but I'll, yeah, I'll post the meager outlines and if people don't like that, if they would prefer to have the full ones, I'll go and finish those later. Uh, I'll go and fill them out. That's not a problem. But I will post those ones, at least, for now. Uh, that's the idea I came up with. So I can spend less time doing that and more time writing, which would be nice. <laughs> Get some projects done, submitted to places. I'm planning on submitting to a couple magazines within the next two months. I'm hoping by the end of July. Uh, I pushed it off a couple months because I've been slow and I've been doing streaming and like a bunch of stuff, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to submit something within the next couple months. So the end of the summer at the latest, I want to finish it by the end of July though. I'm going to say the end of July. I prefer to have it done by the 11th so I could just draft fear the siren and not have to worry about any other, anything else, but we'll see how that goes. I have no idea if anyone reads the show notes. I don't know, really, like, I've looked at the traffic and there are some people who visit my website, but the numbers are low. So, I don't know. Um, doesn't matter, whatever, we'll figure it out. Constant improvement. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it's a learning process. We're all learning. But yeah. So it's just about 9.30. I'm going to take off. You know how to contact me if you need to. Finger guns. Random awkwardness. Can I make it more awkward? Probably, but I'm not going to. Anyway, this is me. I'm out. Oh, that was a horrible outro. This is Brendan. God, this is, yeah. You all know, let me... Here, let me let me let me start again. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip back. Oh, pretend I'm working. Pretend I'm working. And then, oh God, messing everything. <laughs> so my name is Brendan. This has been Accidental Origin. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, that was better.